News. Jeff, welcome to SABC News Channel. Thank you very much for joining us. Chief Director of Coaching, it's never easy when you know in particular that the country will be looking at you for all things positive when it comes to the sport. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting for me. Uh, I'm just happy to be part of uh, giving back to tennis in South Africa and help grow the sport. So um, I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait for 2020. Mm. Let's start right there. The growth of the sport, strategic planning is what you needed to, to look forward to. Integrate with the high performance pathway for South Africa's tennis players. That's paramount and well for any results, for any sporting code, in particular with this one, tennis, who, I mean, over the years, I think, Gradually, South Africans have started gravitating towards it again, much of the success of the Harrises of this world, as well as, uh, as the Andersons. Yeah, definitely, and, and, and that's part of it. I, I want to be able to help grow the sport and to be able to get more Kevin Andersons and Lloyd Harrises, your Raven Classons out there, and to be able to, to benchmark on, on those um, things and, and be able to have a nice platform for up-and-coming uh, youngsters, but also to be able to give guidance to some of the coaches. And it's a great opportunity for me because I'm still involved with my guys uh, from Colombia that I work with uh, 25 weeks a year. And it's, I look, it, it's a great opportunity to be able to have all that connections overseas and uh, be able to give out our up-and-coming players and uh, coaches the opportunity and, and connections overseas. Now that's where I was go actually going to go to, the relationships with, you know, keeping that balance, particularly locally and overseas players. We want to see most of our, well, all of our players hopefully go overseas and play like your Kevins and your Lloyds. Uh, there's, there's a balancing act and a thin line that you have to play because at the end of the day, once you international like Kevin for example it's tough to try and get him to come back every single time when South Africa plays Davis Cup for example because there is a career that these guys have made for themselves yeah you know it is a bit tough for it's uh, for South Africans we so far from everything but yet you know you can have a base in overseas whether it's Europe or the States but that's where it's so important to have these connections and to be able to uh, uh, go out there to the world and prove yourself that it doesn't matter if you come from South Africa if you if you work really hard and uh, you believe in your goals uh, you can definitely achieve it and to be able to make it a little bit easier once you make it up there in, into the game and to be able to base yourself overseas as well but also to give back to tennis in South Africa. Mm. I'm looking at the current system and as far as South Africa is concerned I mean I, I know a lot of people don't realize how many youngsters in particular in college tennis that we got playing in the, in, in the USA and there's a huge pool of players that South Africans can look forward to. It's just getting those structures right, isn't it? Uh, and, and, and broadening that pool and getting them to want to fly the South African flag and represent us. No, definitely. You know, uh, we, we look at, at our next Davis Cup and Fed Cup players. They are going to come from the colleges. We just had Davis Cup a few months ago uh, and in, in Cape Town, and uh, we had our youngster, um, Philip Henning, playing there, and he's going to be in college. Uh, and hopefully in the next few years get to play more for South Africa. And so we need to have a system in place where these guys, you know, from your June, July, August, when it's summer holiday, we have a program and um, uh, for them that to be able to play tournaments mm. and uh, uh, be able to have these connections overseas, you know, either come back to South Africa, have a training camp and then go, or one of the coaches need to go over there and train with them uh, and then play tournaments around there. That's what we need because at the moment where we're going, uh, most of our players, uh, mm. uh, Fed Cup and Davis Cup players, will come from, from the college system. Mm. And would help as well to get those sponsors back on board because at the end of the day, it's costly, isn't it? I mean, we, that's why we're here. We want to get those sponsors back on board to back this tennis, the sport that we, I think, in the past time, has been a pastime of South Africa um, for, for, for a while, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, with the rain dollar, it's very expensive. And as you know, uh, once you travel overseas, it's all about the dollars mm -hmm. and the euros and the pounds. The rent can only take you so far. And it's, uh, yeah, that, that's a difficult part about being in South Africa, but it doesn't mean you, you can't make it. It's not impossible. You can definitely make it in this game. And uh, if you travel enough uh, and we make those connections, and that's what I want to be part of, to be able to have, use all my connections worldwide. And there's so many South Africans out there in the world that we're willing to help. So we need to, uh, you know, get connected with those guys. And they, they're really willing to help yeah. all the South Africans out there. It doesn't help. Well, it's not too bad anyway. I mean, you think of it, you're coaching, what, the number one uh, ranked team, doubles team in the world. So come on, Jeff, you know, there's a couple of things you can do for us behind the scenes, yeah? No, definitely. You know, it's, uh, I started with these guys six years ago. It was uh, to change the whole culture and to be able to 
get them where I wanted them. And finally, you know, we won two Grand Slams this year and end up number one in the world. Uh, I think it's a, it's a very good achievement and something we really work towards. And that's why when this job came, I would love to give back to South Africa because it feels like the last six years I'm on, I've mm -hmm. only been helping uh, foreigners. So when it came up, I said, yeah, let's do it as a part-time and see how it goes. Yeah. Speaking about helping foreigners, you've got the big names of South Africa coming back next year. The date has been announced. South Africa's Kevin Anderson and Lloyd Harris face off 2nd of February. It's an exciting one. Looking forward to seeing those big stars in South Africa. And obviously, once again, it'll be in Soweto, a, a, a place where a lot of people have been yearning for, for a sport like tennis and seeing those big names. It goes a long way when you can bring the Kevin Andersons to play in the township for these kids to buy into the sport, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just so huge for, for, for tennis in South Africa and particularly for uh, Soweto, you know, uh, I've played there before. It's a nice venue and to have Kevin Anderson playing um, uh, against Lloyd, I think it's just absolutely wonderful for tennis. And then people, will, you know, you've seen Kevin only really playing overseas the last few years. So mm. to see him back in action in South, on South African soil, I think it's just going to be absolutely wonderful. Of course, we can't run away from the fact that there's an also another big match coming up, Rafa as well as <laughs> it's happening down in there in Cape Town, Rafa, as well as Roger Federer. It's a spectacle showdown on the continent. Once again, South Africa has promised. We've got all these things come to us. It's just that buy-in that we need, isn't it? No, definitely. And if you, if you look at it, that was sold out in 10 minutes. And it just shows you how hungry people are for tennis. Uh, same with our Davis Cup a few few months ago. And, and I mean, that's obviously going to be such a huge match. I mean, uh, in Cape Town Stadium, Rafa Nadal, uh, uh, Roger Federer, I mean, you really can't beat them. 39 Grand Slams between them. I mm. mean, I think it's going to be so awesome. And people are just uh, so longing for tennis. And I think uh, these guys will absolutely put up a great show. And Roger is such a, you know, professional. Both are. And they're very nice guys. I mean, to be honest, uh, to become there, he's always wanted to come back to South Africa and play. He's been here many times on holiday. But now to be able to play in Cape Town Stadium, I mean, and you have a ticket. I mean, you can't ask for a better ticket. I would ask you if you could squeeze me one, but uh, we'll talk off camera quickly. <laughs> Jeff, before I let you go, your job starts in earnest, and as far as uh, uh, Director of Coaching in Tennis South Africa, where does one start? You're looking at yourself, and you're looking at your program ahead of you. Where do you start sitting at home and s listening to Jeff? For me to get confidence in what he's doing, wh wh what's the plan looking ahead? Yeah, definitely. You know, it starts in um, in January. Um, I'm leaving the 30th of December, and already the last, uh, you know, for the next two weeks, uh, I'm going to go a little bit on holiday, clear my mind, and be ready. And uh, you know, the first thing I want to do is start building relationships with the players, the coaches, and the parents, and be able to tell them my plan and where to go forward. I think if we all stand together, we can uh, be such a great nation, we as an athletic nation, and if we if we put ourselves all together and we work together. Uh, we can really do something wonders. Tennis South Africa's Jeff Kutsia, who is Director of Tennis, thank you indeed for joining us from our Seapoint Studios in Cape